My name is John John Moore. I'm a Detroiter, poet, first gen PhD student in the Department of African American Studies at UC Berkeley and recipient of the Berkeley Fellowship. 18 years before Cal was founded, at age five, my great 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 grandfather, Richard Ryan, was owned by the estate of famous eugenicist Samuel Cartwright. This is the first record of his life I discover. The U.S. Census Slave Schedule of 1850. No name, just the gender, age, and color. A blank space. This is where my journey begins. I see one world held together by violence and another that we can make together by caring for one another. This is what brings me to Berkeley. I study black feminism, black existentialism, and poetry. In short, I'm intrigued by the space between the language of freedom and the feeling of it. What did my ancestor hope to have in this world? And what things made that impossible? Why are black women three times more likely to die during childbirth than white women? How does poetry allow us to imagine futures that have yet to arrive? There is no better place in the world to tackle these questions than Cal. It was here where the Third World Liberation Front demanded self-determination in education, where Saidiya Hartman wrote scenes of subjection, transforming our understandings of slavery, and where June Jordan created Poetry for the People, establishing the Bay Area as pivotal to the future of black poetry. My objects of study range from zombie movies and jazz music to a tongue-in-cheek joke overheard on a BART trip through a rapidly transforming San Francisco. Sure, this campus is beautiful, perfect weather, tons of people, and decaf lattes to die for. But what makes Berkeley special is its history and future that continues to unfold, one that I'm ecstatic to be a part of. As a Berkeley fellow, I can focus on my coursework and still have enough time to coach Cal's slam poetry team and roam one of the largest libraries in the world. I see possibility where there shouldn't be any. I write my grandfather's name when history refuses to write it.